good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. How are you? I am fine. Thank you for asking and you. I'm fine, Irene. Daniel, how are you? Where are... Oh, go ahead, Irene. No, no, sorry. No, no, feel free. Go ahead. <laughs> I asked for the for the other people, but Daniel is here, right? Yeah, he's he's here. Good evening, good evening, people. How are you? I'm doing good. How about you? Good too. Thank you for asking. Great. Irene, how are you? I am very well. Thank you for asking, Danny. Good. So we are almost ready, teacher. And that's right, we are ready. I assume that I assume that the two of you know each other from previous classes. You, you have a previous class. I class think very well. I said that the, the two of you had classes uh, previously, before. You had classes before uh, together. Yes, we were in the top one. I, I think for the last year. Oh, wow, a long time. <laughs> that's good, that's good. You have good partners. Yes, mm -hmm. of course. And do you know Cecilia? Uh, um, I, yes, yes. I good know. evening. Good evening, Cecilia. Good evening, teacher. <laughs> How are you? Fine, thanks. And you? I'm doing great, thank you. Thank you for asking. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not sure how many we're going to have, but uh, we, we'll see what we can, how many people show up. Um, usually the first day is always a few minutes late or sometimes uh, the emails are not correct or they have problems registering or getting in, but we'll try to get everything done. Okay. So before we begin, um, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? That way I can get to know you. Um, what do you do? Where do you work? How long have you studied English? Um, you know, whatever you'd like to share with us. Okay. I, I work in Tigo. And I'm trying to, to learn English some times ago. <laughs> the first time I started maybe um, 2000. <laughs> wow, 2000. Wow. 2000, the first time. Ah, okay, okay. So, yes. After I, I left the, the courses, uh, I came back uh, in maybe 10 years ago. I suspended again and I, I, I reincorporated the last year okay. here with, with, with in support. Okay, so mm -hmm. 10 years ago, well, 2000 and 10 years ago, and then finally uh, last year. Yes, yes, okay. but I never I never could practice. So in my job, I, I can use something on 2000. I, I, I could uh, I could get some training outside mm -hmm. in another country, but just that I, I never practice. Uh, and that's what makes it more difficult, right? When you don't have the opportunity to practice, is you yeah. need that you need that fluency, that that continuation. Okay. Yes, it's hard. It's hard. And what do you, try. Daniel, what do you do at Tigo? I I work like a, a support a commercial area. Mm -hmm. So uh, sometimes I have to look where we have to expand the network. Oh, maybe okay. yes, like a financial support, but I am the commercial area. And so, for expanding for for the commercial, right? No residential. Yes, just a business. Just businesses. Okay. 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 Yes, something and another thing, but in synthesis, something like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, Irene. What about you? Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Yeah, um, I am. I am working in an ONG. 
uh, NGO. I work with teenagers. And NGO. NGO, sorry. Mm -hmm. NGO. Uh huh. Um, with teenagers and people, uh, young people. Okay. And what does the NGO do? What is the the focus? Is it for girls, for boys? Is it for sports, um, for drugs, for for what, Irene? It's with teenagers, it's about uh, sales and mechanical, soldiers, and other careers mm -hmm. uh, with INSAFOR. Oh, wow, that's great. Uh -huh. With INSAFOR. Okay, well, that works out yeah. perfect because you're- It's a you're, great, it's a great job. Yeah, and what is the name of the NGO, Irene? It's Fe Fe Alegría. Ah, I know Fe Alegría. Fe Alegría El Salvador. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's great. How long have you worked there? Sorry? How long have you worked at Fe en Alegría? Ah, okay. Uh, I am uh, work for two years. Okay. All right. Great. Two years ago. Uh -huh, okay. two years ago. I, I enjoy my, my job because I can help many people. Yeah, it sounds like you help a lot of people. That's wonderful. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good. Cecilia, what about you? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Um, I work I work in a technology university. I am a teacher and the signature or the ob object is the the name the different uh, for example a uh, uh, history design mm -hmm. and the methodology and others uh, for example um, a creativity Okay, and how long have you worked at university, Cecilia? Mm, let me see, about um, uh, five, uh, 18 years. <laughs> 18 <Wow>. years. <laughs> wow, that is a long time. Yes, yes. <laughs> very, very long time. Yes, so you, very long time. You must like your job a lot. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, that's great. Well, I know that it. I, I guess we we only are going to have the three of you for today. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know what what <laughs> happened. Yeah, I don't know what happened to the other people. But you know, I assume it was a, 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 a quite a few of them. I think it was something like twenty, but I'm not sure. It looks like. Monday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's still no Monday morning. in the first class. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I think. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, there we go. Here we're getting a few more. There's Mario. Hey, hey, how are you, Mario? You're on mute, Mario. Hi, how are you? Good, and you? Good evening. Good, very good. Good, hey. Mario. Hi, Cecilia. Hi, Daniel. Hi. Very Hello. glad to see you again. Yes, thank you. Irene. Hi, Irene. Uh, Mario, can you tell me a little bit about you? Mario. Mm -hmm. It's a picture. Uh, pardon? Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Where do you work? What do you do? Things like that. Okay. I am Mario Cortez. I have 32 years old. I working as accounting analyst at Life Miles uh, since four years ago. Uh, I am uh, I'm, I studied uh, public accounting in at, at UCA. And I don't know. That's it. Okay. And how how has it been with life miles because of the pandemic? Yeah, very hard situation, very, very tough. But we try to survive in, in this pandemic situation because uh, right now, the airlines was a, a very difficult situation from all these pandemic uh, things. But right now, actually, uh, we are good. 
are surviving with the redemptions with the um, other uh, retail uh, uh, business or retail uh, industries. So we are we are right now with the uh, with the financial. Uh, uh, partners so we are we are okay <laughs> we are okay, okay right now okay yeah yeah i saw that is because i i i saw that they, it's good that you're not part of avianca because uh, yeah. if avianca had more difficulty than life miles but yeah totally it's mm -hmm. okay avianca is they have more difficult right now yeah. since uh, two years ago they have a, a financial bad situations from the last uh, administrators or the last board of directors mm -hmm. but right now uh, we we start to i don't know to to despegar i forgot the the naming take in, off in take off mm -hmm. we have to take off and i don't know we have to receive this year with a, a very good uh, enthusiasm because we don't know if if this year uh, in other countries return the, the the tourism but i don't know because in europe they close the the countries again so yeah we have that difficult in the in the airlines yeah 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 it's going to be a hard situation for everyone i yeah i imagine because when you see more publicity from a from a company is because they need more money because now all you see is right. life miles, a free bonus, a transfer your miles, 15%, a join the club, be part of the thing. And I, <laughs> Correct. I, I can't go one day in my Facebook without seeing life miles. And I think, oh, totally. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I, and I just canceled my, I, I was a member and I just canceled last month. Like what? Why maybe not? like why? Like two weeks why? Ago. No, huh? no, man! You don't have to cancel the, the, your I life, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, and my wife too. She said, "Nah, let's cancel them." I said, uh, "Yeah, we okay. need to because they're not they're not flying." I said, it, "Yes, there's no point to have. I even if you have one hundred thousand miles, what do you do? You can't. There's no flying. So it's the same as their zero miles." Right now we are not flying, but maybe in the future you have the all that that miles that we have promotions for going to another place. So probably you you I don't know you lost the opportunity for have that redemption, but I don't know. Maybe maybe. <laughs> Excuse but me. What's your what's your name? Edwin. Oh, sorry, I, I had to mention it. Yes, Edwin. Okay, yes. nice to meet you, Edwin. Nice to meet you too, Mario. Thank you for sharing. All right, Jose Ramos, tell us a little bit about yourself. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Jose Ramos, uh, I live in Lourdes, Colón. I've been working for for through the loan for the last twelve years. And um, and I'm Marian. I I am 38 years old, and uh, it's a pleasure to be with with you guys. Okay, and fruit of the loom in San Juan Pico. Yes, it's close to uh, Ciudad the American Park. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember fruit of the loom. I used to go there many years ago. Oh really? Yes, I was the English teacher for fruit of the loom uh, uh, managers. Oh, it's great. Uh huh. <laughs> and you said you visit, you live in in Lourdes. In in which part of Lourdes, Jose? Um, on the on the on the downtown, in the in the center. In the center, in in in, in right downtown. Yes. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oof! You must suffer traffic every day. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> the world yeah. is. Yeah. Expected the traffic for everywhere. But you are lucky. You are very lucky that you don't have to go to San Salvador because you you go in the opposite direction. You go to San Juan Opico, so you save yeah. a you save a lot of traffic. Yes, uh, just a few minutes to go out the Lourdes, and then it's it's almost free there. The the more the most of the time. Yeah, and I I haven't been there, but I understand that they are building or having a bypass. They're constructing a bypass or something like that. Is that correct? Yes, they are. And the government is building a, a bypass um, in Pico. Mm -hmm. They are have a, 
<clears throat> I don't know, maybe a 10% of the, the construction. Oh, nothing. It's a repatient at the time. Yeah, 10% is nothing. It's like they don't they haven't done anything then. Yes, yeah, just see the machine working now on it, but it's missing too much yet. Okay. All right. Well, great to meet you, Jose. Great. Me too. And we also have a Jennifer. Jennifer, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes, I'm Jennifer Carolina Costa Bonilla. I have a 50 years old and I work in the uh, impression of our group. I am uh, engineering auxiliary in this department. And it's a great pressure to see you. Okay. The same. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you for sharing. And we have one more person. I think that's Veronica. And then we'll get started. Veronica, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hello, good evening. I am Veronica Soto. Nice to see you again. And to join uh, this class. And um, what do you do, Veronica? Where do you work? I work in a, in a financial company. I am, uh, I am public accountant and I work like a, a auditor, auditor. Okay. Well, great. I'm glad to meet all of you. And my name is Edwin and I'm going to be your instructor this, uh, this term. I have worked for our uh, Inglés Cooperativo um, for a, a, this is my second year now, uh, I, but I have been teaching for two decades. Now, this year will be two decades. I've been teaching for 20 years now. Um, I, uh, I, I am an English teacher. I specialized originally. My first, English, my first teaching was mathematics. Then I moved, I, this was in the United States. Um, I was teaching there, then I moved to El Salvador, and then I began, uh, I began teaching mathematics my first year and then transitioned into language teaching, which is a little bit uh, of more of what I enjoy now. I enjoy having the language. So I lived in the US for many years, for maybe more than 20 years, I guess, I would say, uh, about 20 years. Uh, I, besides that, I also work as, I think it was, um, Cecilia that had mentioned with an NGO. I used to work with different types of NGOs or I, or maybe it was uh, Irene, I can't remember, that said she worked with NGO Fe and Alegria. I worked with other ones, um, uh, something, sometimes some for like example for Oxfam or uh, which is other ones. So I've worked in many years teaching different types of English, not just uh, TOEFL, which I've also done. I've worked at different institutions like the American school, um, the British school, the different places as well. Okay. So um, I'm glad that you make the effort to be here. I know it's very hard, especially as an adult with, you know, a family, uh, work, uh, the COVID, uh, the, the responsibilities that you have. So Thank you very much. Thank you for, for putting in the effort to try to be here. And the same, I put in the effort to make sure that you receive the best class that you can. So if there is ever a question or if you ever have anything that you're not sure about, just make sure to ask and I'll try to help you as soon as possible. Also remember that there is a WhatsApp group in case you haven't joined it. Um, the link is part of the email that they sent you. I know some of you are already there because I sent an, I sent a hello, uh, hello, and uh, I saw some of the people that were there. Uh, but you know, if if not, you can go ahead and feel free to join it whenever you get a chance. And we, you know, if you have some questions, you can answer through here or through there. We'll try to help you out as much as possible. In this course, this is the course of TOEFL. Obviously, I assume that you, it's part two. So I'm assuming that everybody already took module one. Um, is that correct? This is correct. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. All right. Perfect. So then everybody has an idea how the program is structured. Do you understand that it has certain aspects like that are graded? Um, do you understand that there are several sections? 
There are four sections. And of course, this program is for four weeks. The objective is to finish a one program or one week, one lesson, let's say, or one unit. OK, um, sometimes it's a little bit more. Sometimes it might be a little bit less, depending on some topics that are a little bit difficult or not. The main idea is to help you so that you can take the exam. You can also feel better with your fluency, with your listening. Um, that being said, sometimes I speak a little fast. And if I speak too fast, let just ask, say, hey, can you uh, repeat? Can you speak slower? Can whatever you want. Don't worry about it. Don't be, don't be shy. Because if you're not understanding me or if you're not sure, ask. It's not just for the language. Sometimes it's the vocabulary, or sometimes a partner says a phrase. We're here to help each other. That's the objective for all of us to help each other so that we can all improve. Okay. Now, if you ever taken the TOEFL exam, I don't know if any of you have. Um, maybe a few years ago or recently. Has anybody had the chance to take the TOEFL before? No. No? No. 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 Okay. Not really well, not. Okay, no problem. Well, the TOEFL is kind of, a, a, um, it, it's an academic exam. Um, in case you, you, you don't know, I'm sure you've seen in the modules, some type of the questions and the readings and the exercises. The idea of the TOEFL is to make sure that you have a language where you can go and understand and communicate uh, at a college level course. That means that if you apply for immigration, they normally ask you for the TOEFL, at least for those countries like the US and um, Canada can, uh, some universities will accept different exams, but also for those. Um, also the idea for the TOEFL is for you to make sure that you can comprehend and they also communicate in the official exam. It's not just like the Salvadorian one. They also have ones where you can go ahead and have several different aspects. So you have a listening part, we have the reading, we have the writing, okay? Um, they have the grammar and structures like that. Now, from your introductions, I, I understand all of you very well. There's just a few little details that we want to make sure we eliminate. And some of those details are, for example, the word have. This is you speaking in English, but thinking in Spanish. There is no I have 20 years old. I have 50 years old. I have 30 years old. There, there is no have. There's only I am, right? There's I am and then your age, things like that, okay? So there's, there's going to be times where I tell you specifically, okay, I understand you, but you're speaking Spanish, you're thinking Spanish and speaking English, because you're saying exactly like you say it in Spanish, right? So like they like many times I hear people say, Oh, this is the house of my father. Yeah, that, I understand you, but that's Spanish in English, you never use that. We have possessives, right? This is my father's house. Now the people understand, of course. Are you going to communicate? Of course. But those are two different aspects. One aspect is the social aspect, just like in Spanish. The social aspect means that somebody speaks badly, somebody doesn't speak correctly, they don't pronounce well, but they can still communicate. That's one aspect. The other aspect is the professional aspect, the level where you have to send emails, where you have to write reports, where you have to have conferences, where you have Zoom meetings, where you have meet, where you have other things where people are expected to perform at a professional level. Are people going to be angry at you? Are people going to misunderstand you? No, probably not. Most of the times, you the errors that we tend to make, we communicate correctly. But of course, it's always that idea that, oh, you know, I didn't, I didn't say it correctly. Or sometimes we get shy that, oh, I didn't, I'm not sure if this is right. Well, if you're not sure, just ask. That's fine. You try to communicate. Perfect. You want to speak. Excellent. Just go ahead. If it's wrong, I'll let you know. If it's not, it's then it's correct. So you don't have to worry about it. If you make a mistake, I'll help you because that's my job. My job is to help you. So don't feel bad. Don't feel that I'm picking on you. If I say, hey, Mario, sorry, that's not, you know, I understand you, but that's not correct. But, you know, it, it, it's not for me to bother you. It's for me to help you. So I want to make sure that's clear. Okay. My goal here is not to bother you, but to make sure that you understand when you're making mistakes and to stop them because there's going to be a moment where that mistake is permanent. And mm, I'm sure you've seen people that they do it and they do it and they do it. And then it's so difficult for them to eliminate because it's normal for them. This is the normal part of their life. And 
that's what I want to make sure that we eliminate. So a couple of things, um, I'm gonna share my screen with you uh, so that we can uh, take a look at the platform and make sure just in case, and we'll go an overview and then be, and then we'll start. But before that, does anybody have any questions, any comments, anything they'd like to say or ask? Yes, teacher. Uh, I tried to connect uh, in the platform, mm -hmm. but uh, send me to the the other course, just uh, model one, and so doesn't happen in the model two. Okay, but the other information is correct, Jennifer. I mean, for example, the, yes. the, the link to enter here, the, the, the other, all, everything else is correct. It's only that. Yes, only that. Yeah. Only okay. the platform. No problem. The okay. In my case, I've been trying today to also, but I couldn't enter the platform. It seems there is no available yet. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, in my case, too, teacher. It's not available yet. All right. Well, in that case, that's then perfect. Then what we'll do is it might be a technical issue because if it's only one person that's having it, it you know, there's usually some kind of, uh, of error from that person. But if several people have it, I usually tend to think that it's a technical issue instead of a personal issue. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write to uh, to Jonathan and let him know um, as well. Uh, if you, I don't know if you guys have communicated with Jonathan or another person that's part of the administration staff, um, you can find their number in the WhatsApp group and right next to them it says Jonathan Guzman or uh, yes, or Luis Bonilla. Yeah. Yes, yes. And in the case of Luis Bonilla, right next to his name, it says Jefe Soporte Tecnico. So <laughs> if, if, if it's a technical problem, we know who to ask. Right, that's the okay. idea. Mm -hmm. So we'll wait and, and try to get it solved. Um, it, it should have been available already because today's the first day and they usually make it available before the first day for you to have the opportunity to access it and to get it. So, okay, thank you for mentioning that. And I'll, I'll report it. That's a, I just wanna make sure that's Jennifer, Daniel and Veronica, right? Oh no, Mario. Okay, Jennifer, okay. Daniel, and Mario. Okay, perfect. I'll, I'll send them uh, a WhatsApp. And uh, just give me a one moment because I, I always like to do things in, in the moment because if I think that if, you know, you say, oh, later on, I'm gonna do it or something, there's always something happens and you forget and, you know, something like that. Okay. Uh, so just one second while I write Jonathan the, the message and... All right, but you know, while I'm writing this message, feel free to talk. It's, you know, you don't have to be shy about it. It's not about being silent. It's our opportunity to, to get to talk, to, to talk about our weekend, what we do, th things like that. So anybody like to tell me, um, you guys always feel free to speak, but be conscious that I'm always evaluating you. I'm telling you that now, that way you don't feel bad. The reason is because every time you speak, it's my job. Is he using the past tense correctly? Is he using the present tense correctly? Did he make a question? Were there the auxiliaries? Were there the S? Did he use the passive? Did he use the present perfect? All of that, that's my job. Your job is speak. So don't worry about it, all right? That's my job for me to help you and say, hey, this, this, and this. Your job is only, okay, I need to fluency. I need to speak. I need to get it out. So go ahead. Who would like to tell me about their weekend? Okay, I about start. Oh, okay, Jennifer. Maybe. No, okay, that's good, Mario. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Uh, for me, wait, I have a very good weekend. And yesterday I went to Santa Ana. I passed time with my family. And uh, we went to a Santa Ana Cathedral. And we went to Ban Ban Bakery. 
and we, I don't know, we enjoyed the, the afternoon with the, with my girlfriend and with my family. So it was very fun. Actually, I don't know, but they have the, the, the football game, the fast versus Alianza and, and they have oh, a, a, a drive a zero zero from this game, but was a, I don't know. It was a, they have a lot of people of Santana. They, they like the Club Deportivo Fas because I, I, I saw a, a, a lot of people wearing the Fas t-shirt. So very, very nice. But I, I know that, I knew that the Alianza Pass at the final uh, game with the Aguila. So was a very, probably will, it will be a very good uh, game from the next uh, weekend. And I don't know, that's it. It was a very good weekend for me. And how about Unifer? Okay. Yeah, my good thing is a common weekend. Like uh, uh, the house Ama de casa. Sorry. In English. Um, I I went to the the supermarket and the market and I enjoy buying the many kinds um food many many different uh uh thompsons and uh and the market and I enjoy with my family. And I cook to the others, to others, and really just pass uh, with my family this weekend. Okay. Um, okay. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Great. All right, guys. Uh, Daniel, did you want to say something? Ah, uh, yes. Thank you. My case, I, I was in the ceiling in the garage so on Saturday almost or Sunday <laughs> just I take a rest for uh, watch uh, how do you say the, the culto church yes church uh, uh, the mass right? specifically it's called mass mm -hmm. okay and I just was my my weekend <laughs> very okay. tired <laughs> okay. I can imagine. I can imagine. All right. All right. Well, thank you very much. I already wrote to Jonathan. And in fact, um, Jonathan already answered. So he says right now he's going to verify and try to solve the situation. So that's why I say I think that it, for me is better in the moment because sometimes that's when they they have free, more free time because to be honest, during the day, they have so many responsibilities, so many activities. Yeah that they have so many, I, I think uh, for those that work in technical support, you know the, the term, they have so many tickets that like uh, tasks that they need to get done from, from the day before or from, you know, from the people that put up that day. So I prefer in the night and yeah, many times uh, I find that at this time, they're a little busy compared to during the day. During the <laughs> day, they, they have more things. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think so. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's it's always. I think it's kind of like. Uh, I think Mario said he worked at Tigo, right? Uh, or, or was it Daniel? Yes, me. I Daniel. Work with you. Okay, I think that Daniel. That's right. Uh, Mario works at at uh, the uh, Life Miles, and I just remembered. Thanks. So I think it's like Daniel and, and like Mario for really for, for both. When you first get into the office, you have so many things to get done. Oh my God. And then it's like, oh, you don't have time. But towards the end of the day, usually the most important you already have done, the most urgent you already have done. And then not that you have free time, but you're you're calmer. You have you can breathe a little bit more. And then if you have an email or something, ah you can look at it right yeah, right yes but in the beginning the first thing in the morning you look at the, the emails from the most important people i'm not the most important person the first ones are the manager the director the the supervisor and then at the end of the day ah 
an English teacher. Okay, let me check his <laughs> let me check his what's up. <laughs> so, uh -huh. so I think that's the idea. All right, guys, I'm going to share with you for those who still don't have it. We'll try to get those solved. Jonathan is on working on it right now. So we'll see what we can do. Um, can everybody see my screen? Yep. Excellent. All right. Yes. Wonderful. Okay. Well, as you can see, as I mentioned, there are four sections. There is a reading, a listening, a speaking, and a writing. Okay. Now, obviously, this is each section, right? This is, that means that this entire section is focused on reading. This entire section is focused on listening, so on, speaking and writing. But that does not mean that we don't do the other skills while we are doing that activity. Okay, yes, we have to do the reading, okay? And we have to follow the program. So we're gonna be focusing on reading, but it's not just reading, it's also paraphrasing. Paraphrasing is that you explain in your own words what you understood, that you talk about it, that we look for it, we find for vocabulary, we take vocabulary and you give definitions. It's not just only, oh, okay, I can read and I'm done. No, the idea is we try to integrate the other skills at the same time. Okay, and that is the same for the others. Okay, the others for listening, for speaking, for writing, all of those are for our opportunities to use. We focus in that specific skill, but it's not that we stop the other skills. Okay, we focus on developing this one. So I, I, I think all of you know, but just to make sure that it's clear, um, this we have four weeks and the entire course needs to be finished by the last day of the four weeks. Um, I understand that uh, previously InsaForp allowed you one extra day. For example, if the course finished on Thursday and you needed to do the exam or you needed to do an activity, you could still do it on Friday. For this year, they are not going to allow that. This year, when the course finished, the activities have to be finished. So keep that in mind because it, maybe it wasn't for you, but maybe it was that before, ah, Today the course finished, but uh, I can finish later tonight or I can finish tomorrow or something like this because the course was open, not anymore. The course will maintain open, but only for administrative purposes. That's for InsaForp or for the, the job to check the information, to, to analyze the grades, to review all of the, uh, I, I guess the classes that are uh, recorded or to make sure that your grades were updated or the activities were completed. Okay, we as you as a student only have four weeks exactly. Okay, 16 days of class days. Of course, you have the four weeks, the weekends that you can work on the same as before. If you want to, you can advance. If you want to, you can go ahead. And it's actually preferable that you do because that way when you come to class and you say, hey, you know, I was working in section one and I didn't understand this or I, I wasn't sure what this means. That's wonderful because then we can answer your questions quickly and precisely. Okay. Any questions for module two uh, up to this point? No? Excellent. And just the last thing, um, remember that your grade is based on the platform. Remember that your grade is what exercises and what activities you do there. So whenever you want to know, you go to the button where it says progress. You can click on progress. Um, it's at the top, right? And then there it'll tell you what activities you need to get done. It tells you uh, how much you have advanced or what are the things that are going on for that course. Okay. Okay. Yes, uh, somebody had a question? Oh. Jennifer, did you have a question or something? Mm, really, no. No, okay, all right. Just uh, maybe when I when I when I have um uh open the the, the platform, then I I will see the, the exercise. Okay. All right. Okay, no problem. Uh, Jonathan just gave came back to me. Jonathan says, 
uh, everything is ready and you can go ahead and you should have access now. Okay, so, uh, okay. so please verify and check to make sure that you do. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. Hey, there you go. I'm telling you. Yes. Hmm. After working That's for fine. after working for some time, you just like in the company, you know what time is the appropriate time to send the messages and the tickets <laughs> and who to send them to. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Well, good. I'm glad. Hopefully for the others, for Danielle and for uh, Mario as well, that they, they are able to access. Yes, it's well. Thank Excellent. You. Okay, wonderful, okay. wonderful. I will try right now. Okay, good, Mario, good. All right, well, as you can see here, this is the, the list of the activities you need to get done. As you can see, there are several homeworks, four homeworks, one for each of the units, plus then you have the midterm and you have a final exam. All of those, um, all of those activities you can check and you can see your grade here and it'll tell you what needs to be done or what you are missing. And, also, it will tell you the grade that you got for that activity, if you got a 60, a 70, and so on. Please remember that in order to pass the course or in order to be able to continue to the next one, you need a grade of 80 or more, 80, 80 or more in average. So yes, you can have some activities that have 70, but it means that the next activity has to be 90, for example, or things like that. Okay, so try to remember that it's 80 or more and we can get started, okay? Um, before we look at the first video, are there any questions or anything? Or I think we covered all of the, the main topics and all of the main ideas. Uh, does anybody have any questions? No, I Hi. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, go ahead. I don't see the, 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 um, I don't see the, 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 I, sorry, I forgot. I can see the, the video mm -hmm. in this moment, but, uh, after the class, I checked the, the, the section. Mm -hmm. And please tomorrow I will be I will be uh, uh, the questions I will be questions for you. Yes, no problem, Jennifer. Uh, about the the whatever topic. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Take a okay. yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. You, you watch the video today after class or you watch the video tomorrow. If you have any questions, you ask me, yes. no problem. Okay, I okay. ask you. Okay, right tomorrow. now, sure, no problem. Right now we're gonna watch our first section, our first video. I'm sure we've seen this person several times, very famous. She's almost in all of the videos for the entire program, okay? <laughs> so let's take a moment and listen to what she has to say. Welcome to our Topo Preparation Course 2. Let's begin with the reading section. In this section, we will walk you through four types of reading questions. We will explain them to you as well as to give you examples. Then you may go on doing some practices and then finally you will take a short test. That's just the first part, but we got to go through all of the parts of the video. So we understand what we're going to do. Hello, welcome to TOEFL Preparation Course 2. Today we're going inside the reading section. Let's begin with vocabulary questions. Vocabulary questions ask you to identify the meaning of words and phrases as they are used in the reading passage. It's easy to identify vocabulary questions because there will be a word or phrase highlighted in the reading passage and 
you will see questions like this with phrases like closest in meaning or the author means. The word X in the passage is closest in meaning to. The phrase X in the passage is closest in meaning to. Or in stating X, the author means that. Now let's look at a sample vocabulary question. Okay, we got a little bit of reading there. Who can help us out? Who, who can uh, read that article for us? May I, teacher? Yes, please, Daniel. Okay, the horse has played a little known but very important role in the field of medicine. Horses were injected with toxin of diseases until their blood built up immunities. Then a uh, serum was made from their blood. Serums to fight both diphtheria and tetanus were developed in this way. The word serum is closest in meaning to A, ointment, B, antitoxin, C, blood, D, uh, acid. According to the passage, Horses were given toxins to which they became immune. The blood was made into serums, which acted as antitoxins against the toxins, the toxins of diseases. Therefore, you should should be. Okay. And now here's what she was explaining at the beginning of the video. When we see parts that say, ah, find the word closest in meaning to find a word or that uh, has similar uh, to the phrase or um, what is the idea of this okay all of those are that you don't have to give a definition of the word and sometimes it's not exactly the synonym of the word but it's something that is close to it okay that's what we mean so in this case you don't have to know the word serum but if you don't, and, and that's okay, because you're going to find many words in the exams where you don't know, but you have to understand how the exam is structured so that you can find the correct word. That means that in letter A, B, C, or D, okay, you should have an idea. Maybe you don't know what is ointment. Maybe you don't know what is antitoxin, but you have to get from what you are reading and you say, ah, okay, here they say toxins. Perfect. In this sentence, it says toxins. And it says it's something doing to, to go the opposite of toxins. Ah, so here, probably the only word that sounds logical for opposite of toxins would be antitoxins. And this is the strategy for reading, okay? It's not only, ah, this word is this. Because many times we have a definition, but in that context, the word does not have that meaning. It's actually a different word or a different meaning. Does that make sense? Yes, makes sense. Yes. Yes, Elvin. Okay, great. Okay, so yeah. Let me put this. Oh. They are not usually words. So here's just the last part of the video, what she wants to explain. Of course, that you can guess from context. So the best general strategy to be ready for this type of questions is to build your vocabulary. Here's a tip for increasing your vocabulary. Many English words come from Latin or Greek. So if you study Latin and Greek roots, that will help you remember the meaning of words. And it can also help you figure out the meaning of words you may not know. So, we are already clear we are, that we are going to have many times where we are not going to understand some of the words that we read, right? That's, we understand that's logical. That's part of the, the exam. Okay. So, the question is, how can you... Yeah. Yes? Sorry, teacher, I have a question. Tell what me. is the meaning of green, green roots? Ah, okay. 
Greek roots are the Greek root. Yes, the the words the where they are from originally. So originally, many words in English come from Latin, which means they are similar to Spanish, right? We have a lot of words that are similar. Um, those are from the, our Latin, and then we also have Greek. And Greek are many times words that are more scientific or, or words that are a little bit more uh, with that structure. That's what they mean. So the root is like the main word or the original word. And then that's what they say. If you understand Latin or Greek roots or the idea of those words, then it helps you for English. And in many times it does, like in Spanish, right? In Spanish, even if you don't know English, if you are reading what I'm showing you in the video right now, if you see the first word and you say differences, ah, but in Spanish, this is similar to the to the same Latin word different. And then you can get the idea of what it is or the same for the word like process or language or special or interest. You see, only in that first line, maybe, 40% of the words are similar to Spanish. So they say, if you understand those original words, then it's even if you don't know the word, you have an idea of how you can get to it from the Latin or Greek roots. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Okay. Now, is it possible always? No, 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 no. It's not possible always because there's always words that come from a different, uh, maybe sometimes some words come from French and sometimes some words come from other, from uh, f other types of roots, okay? So here we have another example. Let's try to read this one. Let me play it and then we'll read together. Hi, in today's class, we will discuss a reference question. In a reference question, you are asked. Okay. So here, what she's saying is what we're talking about when they say reference, okay? Reference means that you're going to find a word and it's usually going to be underlined or highlighted or in some way identified, okay? And they tell you, oh, you know, accord in the context, what does that word refer to, okay? So as an example, if I say, um, he works in Tigo. Who is he? Who does he refer to? Ah, in this case, you would say he is. Think of our class. Who works in Tigo? Daniel. Daniel. Mario. Mario. It's Daniel. Mario, right? <laughs> right? No. 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 Daniel. Daniel works Daniel. in Daniel works in Tigo, okay. And Mario works in Life Miles. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. There you go. And that's exactly what they're asking you to do in reading. They're going to give you pronouns. They're going to give you the words, for example, he, they, we, it, uh, are, different pronouns like that. And they're going to ask you, according to the context, what does this word mean? So you have to understand what is they, they are talking about, and that is the main idea of what you are identifying. Okay. What the highlighted word refers to. If it's a pronoun, then you need to identify what word the pronoun is replacing. Here are highlighted words you may be asked about. Number one, subject pronoun, it, they. Number two, object pronoun, it, them. Number three, demonstrative pronoun, these, those, this, that. Number four, possessive adjectives, it's, their. Number five, other reference words, the former, the later, one, once, another, now, I'd like to pause there because we have several words that it's important that we understand those. Okay, we have the word, the former and the latter. Those are, those are very common to see in this type of exam. Do you know what they mean, the former and the latter? Oh. 
the Jose. former. Uh -huh. uh, I don't know the, the means, the former. Okay. So the former means that is the first word or the first thing in the list. So I like pizza, ice cream, um, and soda. The, the former, uh, uh, my, my favorite is from, you know, uh, Pizza Hut. Okay, so that means the first. The latter, that, so the word former is like, it's another way to say like the previous or the one before. Think of the former like that, like before. And the latter is the last one in the list. So the latter in that list would have been soda. Okay, uh, the latter from, so the latter is the last, kind of like the last, and the former is the previous or at the beginning of the list. Okay. Okay. I understand. Thanks. You're welcome. And remember, when you do the reading part, you have to be careful when you see the word, for example, one and ones. One is going to be something singular. Ones is going to be something plural, okay? The same for other and others. Others means there's going to be more than one. And those are, those are like where you have to be clear on the pronouns. When you, anytime you see them for this, that, these, those, you have, when you see what they're asking you, you have to be able to identify, oh, they're asking me about something singular. They're asking me about something plural, okay? Okay. The rest here. Other, others. It is important to remember that you don't need a full understanding of the complete passage in order to solve this question type. You just need to study the context surrounding the word. Usually, you just read the sentence where the highlighted word is mentioned, and then read a few sentences that come before it. Let's see an example of a reference question. Okay. Okay, I can I can try. Thank you, Mario. Uh, uh, differences in the way man and woman process language is of special interest and interest to brain researchers. It has been known that a aphasia or fascia, I don't know. A kind of speech disorder is more common in men than in women when the left side of the brain is damaged in an accident or after a stroke. However, women are more likely than men to suffer aphasia. Aphasia? How is the correct uh, With F. Say Aphasia. Aphasia, okay. Mm -hmm. Aphasia when the front part of the brain is damaged. This clearly indicates that the brains of men and women are organized differently in the way they process speech. Uh, the word they in the passages refers to men, women, brains, or researchers. You should choose C because they, plural, agrees with brains and brains can process speech. Hmm. Okay, so maybe you were thinking about, oh, in the way they process. No, it's not in the mm -hmm. way the men process. It's not in the way the women process. It's in the way that the brain processes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you're not clear or when you're uncertain, when you're doing a reading analysis or when you have this part, the important is to take the pronoun that you think is correct and replace it. Okay, so when you read it, if you're not sure, you can change, for example, for men. This clearly indicates that the brain of men and women are organized differently in the way men process speech. Hmm, doesn't make sense because we're talking about men and women are organized. So it's not possible to only say only men process speech, right? Or only the same for the women. It's not possible to say only the women process speech. But it makes more sense to say that the way that the brain process the speech, the brain from the men and the brain from the women. Okay. 
All right. So as you can see, there's quite a bit of information and requirement and techniques that go into being able to do the exam, but it's not only just for the exam. It's also to help you when you're reading, when you receive an email, when you have an article, to use these same techniques and strategies to comprehend more of your reading, okay? All right, we are going to okay. pause. We're going to pause right there. Um, unfortunately, I have another class that I have also starting at nine, um, but I will see you tomorrow. And thank you again for making the effort to come today. So have a great night and I see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank hey, you guys. See you. Thank you, see you tomorrow. Uh, see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.